That's exactly what I expect yeah. for all my hard work. I want my face tattooed, tattooed on people's uh, bodies. permanently <laughs> on people's body. That's how hard I work. Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobar has escaped from prison. Jesus. Well, here we go again. The first season ends with his escape from prison, mm -hmm. from La Catedral. And I will say that second season, we start off exactly where we left off, literally moments um, from, from the final moment of the first season. And that being said, our timeline is obviously much shorter because it's such a broad stroke in the first season. There's, there's so much history that, that is conveyed and, um, and so many years are kind of logged in even to the first episode. Um, and now we don't have that privilege. We just have months until the day that we actually catch Escobar from the day that he escaped from prison. So I would say that every aspect of the story is intensified because the chase is on. His running, our chasing, um, everyone closing in on on, yeah. on Escobar and how they and what they're willing to do to to get him and it's what he's less, willing to do to escape. It's less epic than the first one, I think. I mean, we still have the voiceover, the whole thing, but it's it's more dramatic, I think, more character driven than the than the than the first one. This wasn't just a manhunt. This was a war. But the problem was, Pablo is never more dangerous than when you almost have him. It's definitely the most popular thing I have ever done as an actor, uh, especially considering the way Netflix became global. Uh, but I, we are just talking about this right now. We just we were working so we, when we wrapped first season, we started to <clears throat> we to publicize it and, and, and then immediately like a couple two months after we've, we've wrapped something like that three yeah. months after wrapping the first season, we were shooting the second season in Bogota, yeah. so, and yeah. we just finished yeah. so for us it's about it was about living in Bogota and doing and yeah. working on it yeah we were very yeah. much in sort of like the Narcos and Colombian bubble because we were so right on to the second season um, after it aired so its impact, um, I suppose, wasn't lost on us, but um, it, it certainly didn't. It didn't. It didn't interfere with um, our attack. Yeah, of the second season. we were focused focused on doing it. You know, I. I but um, we are absolutely aware of the popularity of the show and mm. how the show, how well the show was received. And there are tattoos of your face. Is, is that right? On so many people. Um, that I see like that on I Instagram. Oh my God, I've got to show you. You wouldn't believe. I got I, I, my face too. <laughs> you got your face too? Yeah. Nice. There's this one guy who has the um, your face after you um, beat the man to death in, in, in La Catedral and you, you the, Covered that, that in blood? super animal kind of oh, like the beautifully blood streaked wow. face. And, then I, and, and, it, and the detail work is actually incredible. It looks just as good as it did wow. you know, on, on TV. And then there's a shot of me in my sort of like Benya yellow uh, sunglasses, you wow, know. Wow, like, I didn't know that. So. Scowling there in the distance. Pablo Escobar se le respeta. Los voy a matar a todos. Somos el cartel de Medellín, hijo puta. That's exactly what I expect yeah. for all my hard work. I want my face tattooed, tattooed on people's uh, bodies. permanently <laughs> on people's body. That's how hard I work. I don't know about you. Yeah, no, yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs>